Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. It's frozen. There we go. Today's lesson is about Earth. This is a powerful one. Weren't the other ones powerful as well? Well, of course. But this one is pure potential. Literally power. Okay, okay, glad to see you excited. Let's begin the lesson, please. Okay, Earth. Earth, how can I sum it up? Earth represents determination, empowerment, everything that pushes you forward. Earth is grounding, support, the source, but also the direction of your force. Earth is your drive. Earth is strength. That's it. But bear in mind that it doesn't only refer to your own capabilities, but also the support of your allies. To master one Earth is to be aware where to look for power, not to be drunk on one's power. Mother Earth. Trying to get motherly love, loyalty, sisterhood. Those are also forms of Earth's energy. I understand. Now for the third part of our contract, we will seal our Earth energies together. Lay the question on me. Remember, your answers will affect your fate dramatically. What do you want to become your main source of determination? I want to do myself personal growth and self-realization. Personal growth and self-realization. The lone wolf, huh? It's the safest position to lie on yourself. I just hope you will never break down or your willpower will shatter and there will be no one able to pick up the pieces. It's okay. I've come this far by myself. You sure look strong. You sure look strong. I'll concede that very well. Now I will seal our earth energies together and get ready. contracts. I almost vomited with this one. Yes, Earth has a lot of presence. I've seen other witches puke right after sealing it. I'm one of the tough ones then. Oh, you bet you are. You have been the first to not only cry during the ceremony, although we still have fire to seal. That one is painful even to me. Oh no. You can do this. Only one to go. Now to the fun part. Let's make a card. Ever-boiling sea of tears grants access to the most profane emotions. Bonds blessed by the dragon will become passionate friendships. One from the ancestral being can command mortals to sin. The sound from the trumpet garners everyone's attention. Meanings, mercy, wellness, authority, yearning, passionate, temptation. Nicely done. Come upstairs and do a reading for me, would you? Now we have three cards. Any ideas on what to read next? I'm going to read your desire. I want you to find out what your true intentions are. Or I want to find out what your true intentions are. You want to expose your teacher. You'll give me no quarter, huh? I'm game. Do your worst. I need to know for the sake of our relationship. Prairie grants for a space of bed. Prairie grants a space for meditation. A strong avatar for justice and view and purpose. The Aether Rings elevates the arcana for everyone to see. A hurricane of air energy will stir a lucky call for the unexpected. We would like to be almighty again, greater than this universe. Oh, you can choose which one? 
You're resentful, but you don't seek vengeance, you seek acceptance. You would like to be summoned more often. So you can choose which one. Interesting. I'll say this one, because he's in prison too, he said, so it makes sense to not want to be imprisoned. What do you mean again? I am almighty already. I am powerful enough to allow you to create the superpower divination check. If the deck is so powerful, shouldn't, it shouldn't be far off the truth, right? Mm. I guess I could do without being imprisoned every so often. I can't wait for this universe to end so I can start again with a clean slate. Is this universe close to its end? Don't worry about it. Beings of your existence can't want to ever get sense how a universe ends. Which is already immortal. Why wouldn't I be able to reach the end of time? You are not immortal. You don't age, but you can be killed. Entropy will get all the sentient beings before they can witness the beginning of the end. And you, only us, the behemoth kin, are able to unexist. Not even gods resist the decay of reality. It all returns to nothing. I don't really understand. You won't. I think it's gone. I'm thinking I'm going to draw another card again. Oh, for what? Quite a difficult character to read. I just can't tell what your deal is. In addition to your desire, I need to ask. Why do you behave like this? What do you mean, this? Let the card speak. The deity in the shipwreck scrutinizes every secret witness to many kinds of love. The bartender can channel hidden feelings. The trident pierces through magic and makes it bleed emotion. The flood of water can unleash hidden potentials. Trying to seduce me. You feel the need to make your superiority clear. Let's do that one. I'm sorry, I know that I am your servant. Rest assured, I know my place. It's just that I know so many things I've lived for so long by understanding the cosmos so vast and I perceive you as a child. And it irritates me when you get cocky. It might come off as it might come off as determination or confidence to you, but your cosmovision is so flawed that I get frustrated just hearing you speak. And I don't mean specifically you. I mean anyone who hasn't lived for at least a million years. That's so arrogant. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I feel frustrated because I don't have the tools to transmit proper knowledge to you. <coughs> so as a self-defense mechanism, I always try to remind my interlocutor that I am transcend reality itself. I'm still very arrogant. I am truly sorry. I appreciate you being honest with me, though. Thank you. I'll try to turn down my mystic ego. It's alright. You do you. You went in for the kill with this reading, didn't you? It's my divination style. If we don't dig into the intense stuff, we might as well have a normal conversation. You're absolutely right. I can see I won't get bored with you. What now? I'm the one that needs some rest after today's session. Go and review everything what we've studied so far. Go and review what we've studied so far and get ready for tomorrow's lesson. Fire is the last seal and also the most trying of energies. Very well. Were you the leader of your coven? How would you punish someone for having summoned Abraham? Abraham, you're. Would exile, would exile suffice? Would you be able to forgive something like this? Or maybe you would think of, or maybe you would think it worthy of death. Lesson five, conflict. Ready for more? Yes. How have you found the ceremony so far? to review any elements before continuing? I don't think so. It was pretty basic stuff. So Understood. What's the matter? You're not chipper as usual. Ah, uh, yes. I'm sorry. Fire is usually my favorite lesson. And it marks the final step before our contract becomes effective, which I'm looking forward to. But, but I have a bad feeling about this. That's odd. Based on your answer at all so far, I thought you'd enjoy the threat of dire consequences. Oh, of course I do. 
that's kind of adrenaline is my favorite thing in the cosmos. That is the thing. Look, you're right. I better stop dwelling on silly worries and focus on our dream. I'm just moody for some reason. It's not silly. What do you say we looked into? What do you say we look into it with our cards after we finish today's session? That might be a good idea. That's one of the perks of being summoned by a fortune teller. So true. You're on. It'll be a good challenge as the final test for this new day. That's the bird. I'm a mirror, I know. I mean, you're sharp for the final lesson. Fire it is then. This element is usually feared by most yearned for those with ill will. A fire is more versatile than most magic practitioners think it is. Fire represents adversity, battle, and everything that is against you. Fire is challenge, intimidation, and the fuel of every battle. Fire is your breath. Fire is conflict? Exactly. But don't just dwell on the negative aspects of that definition. Conflict also means growth. And the only time fire is bad is when you're on the losing side. And even in defeat, there's a great deal of growth. We are a living example of that. Master fire and you will conquer anything in the cosmos throws at you. To tell you the truth, I'm more intimidated by water. I'm actually quite fond of fire. Maybe that's why we get along so well. Now, the final contract. This answer will affect your fate profoundly. For the fire seal, what will you suf what will you for the fire seal, what will you sacrifice to access my magic? The life sure about that. You'll live a maximum of another 60 years after you pay the price. Plus, you won't be able to live in space anymore. You'll have to go down to Earth and live among humans. Do you want to reconsider? No. This is my final answer, as you wish. I will add your decision to the cosmic wheel and pray it doesn't break you apart when the time comes to pay the price. Brace yourself. Pain, it burns. It's breaking my atoms apart. I love it. Oh, that I off myself because I'm not. he brought us to earth because there's no way we would survive in space Fortuna wake up oh no we're still here excellent okay so that was just the introduction of the game chapter one what happened I'm sorry I had to wake you up you've been asleep for a couple of days you dropped dead after we sealed the fire contract I thought it might be too much so I let you rest I feel dizzy I had the weirdest dreams what about I can't remember but it felt Primo mission, Tori. I feel bad for waking you up, but you have some business to attend you. What do you mean? Look at the window. You've got a visitor. The Falcon. That's a familiar from an avatar. What's an arbiter? The average office is an organism composed of former witches unaffiliated with any coven that ensures no witch is operating outside the laws of the magical compact. They also rule over conflicts between different covens and rarely interfere with internal affairs. It was founded about 4,000 years ago, so it makes sense you don't know them. Yes, this happened during my slumber. Why were they created? Well, both the Arbiters and the Magical Pact were created after an especially bloody witch war that ended with our coven burning 87 witches inside of a white star. Ooh. To avoid future atrocities, some witches vowed to stop using magic and, fo and focus exclusively on keeping the peace. In the beginning, it was a group of devotees, devotees who wanted to avoid tragedy, but nowadays it's mainly composed of outcasts that have to serve the office as a long-time punishment. 
Wow, things have gotten a lot bleaker since I was last put to sleep. This all happened before my time, and I'm more afraid of having witch wars than witch cops. What do you think the Arbiters want? Maybe they notice I summoned you? That's impossible. My arts are untraceable. Then there's only one way to find out. Let's invite her over. Sure, I'll make myself invisible when you get a visit. Also, you have some energy pooled from sealing the fire contract in case you want to expand your deck before inviting the Arbiter over. Okay, plus I still owe you a reading, right? Ah, don't worry about it. There'll be time for that. Okay, but you're not off the hook. We'll look into what worries you eventually. As if I could escape you. Alright, so let's go make another card. sure what these are supposed to be. The comet. Where's the comet? There we go. Bird. Dear Fortuna, my name is Thea, and I write to you from the Apparage office. Your personal situation caught the attention of my superiors, who tasked me with reviewing your case. I would like to interview you regarding your exile and write a plea to your coven's leader to revisit your case if we judge the punishment to be excessive. Yours faithfully, Thea. Arbiter Badge 210. Rank waxing crescent. Let's invite her over. Oh, here's she oh, is it a guy? Looks like a guy. I love how you can just fly through space like that. No, it's a girl. I don't know. <laughs> Who cares what gender? Thanks for having me. My name is Thea. Arbiter Badge 210. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate the office paying attention to my case. I have been isolated for 200 years so far. That's precisely why I'm here. The office recently discovered your situation, and we are worried it may go awry for the community. Excessive punishments beget rancor, and a thousand year ex long exile, that's a perfect recipe to build up a lot of bad blood. And we all know what a witch can do with a surplus of bad blood. But I am here to help you. Let me know about your case, and we'll look for a way to make you feel better. Thank you. I already had a meeting with Adena, the leader of your witch clan. Adena told me that you predicted the fall of your coven. She explained to me that you didn't... She, she didn't punish you for that, though. She punished you because of how you handled it. Apparently, you plunged the coven into chaos, giving ill advice to any witch, telling them to prepare for end times. And those actions almost destroyed the coven before its time. So she decided to exile you and deprive you of your deck so you can meditate on the range of meaning of your powers. Now that's the official version. I'm interested in what you have to say. Do you think you did it was wrong? No. A premonition that grave should be disclosed to the community. You don't have to agree with your leader's judgment. That's not dangerous per se, but it had a bad ingredient to add to the plot of imprisonment. 
would you have done then if the ends were an eye? You'd like to know, right? I want to give my opinion. I have to act as a neutral party. Next question. Do you think your punishment is fair? I'm saying no. Way too excessive. I understand hardly anyone would accept this kind of sentence. And how are you coping with the centuries of isolations? At first it was hard, but now I think I can manage. Wow, you are strong. I'll see what I can do to improve your situation. I can leave less worried about you doing something drastic, right? Yes, I believe so. I still don't understand why Adina deprived you of your tarot deck. I mean, if you're isolated, what does she care if you have your magic or not? That's something I suppose I'm supposed to reflect on while I'm sad. It's a pity because I have, because I love to have my fortune read. Anyways, before I leave, Arbiter, I'm glad to ask anything to confess. Actually, I am crafting a new deck for divination. Oh wow, that's bold. But I don't think what you're doing is illegal. Adina took your tarot deck from you. But she doesn't have authority over your new creations yet. I'm sure she won't be happy to hear about it, though. You don't need to report to Adena, right? I trust in the office neutrality. Of course, unless you break the magical pact or becomes irrelevant, or it becomes relevant during a trial, we won't disclose sensitive information from our investigation. In any case, what I'm crafting isn't a tarot deck; it's something new. But really, can I see it? Would you like a reading? As, a, as an arbiter, my duty is to make sure that your new project doesn't break the magic pack, so I would love a reading very much. Yes, please. It'll be my pleasure. Is there something you want to ask the deck? Hmm. I want to know what's the future regarding my career as an arbiter. Very well. I'm going to draw two cards for you. The first one to look for opportunities and good omens, and the second to warn you about possible challenges. Well, that's scary. What would you prefer to have? No, please go ahead. All right, here we go. Wrath of the Gods. The white sands curse this car, and the smell of smoke offers a sense of justice, setting what scares you on fire. The asteroid foretells imminent tragedy. Let's do that, I guess. I'm going to kill a witch. I see war. You'll be, you'll be sent to combat. I see war. You'll be sent to combat. What would you mean a war? I see a high-scale conflict that require arbiters to go into battle. Oh my god, that's huge. I have to warn everyone. No way, don't ask that. Or don't do that. I have experience in ringing the catastrophe bells, and it doesn't bring any good. Let the hires off now, and no one else. And keep my name off the record if you can. Uh, okay. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I'll protect my source of which I promise. Boiling sea of tears grants access to the most profound emotions. Bonds blessed by the dragon will become passionate friendships. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I'll say you're gonna be promoted to a high rank. Oh, why? Can't really tell you why or how, but I'm pretty sure you'll be promoted in the office. I'm not really do a promotion until I do a five more years of service, though. What I'm reading is a lot closer than that. How is that possible? The cards didn't say, but you'll earn it by doing something important. I see. According to the other cards, most likely I'll get promoted for some kind of combat merit. I don't like this. Becoming a war hero sounds pretty rad to me. I'd rather stay a humble arbiter in the peaceful universe. I understand. I'm sorry. In any case, I'll do my best to protect you all. You're so brave. Thank you. Well, what do you think of my new deck? Hmm. I want to be adored. That was amazing and a bit scary, but mostly amazing. Thank you. Your gift could be a very valuable asset for our office. The crime you are imprisoned here. Ah, well, I shouldn't position so I shouldn't position myself in such matters. At least not that strongly. In any case, it's an objective truth that your skills are wasted on this forsaken rock. Now, as an arbiter, I, I can't simply overrule the day of a sentence, but I'm going to lift the ban on the visitation. You can do that? I just requested a permit from the main office. It'll become effective as soon as my arbiter notebook gets updated with the moon stamp. Arbiter forms are updated in the master grimoire as soon as my pen touches the paper. 
All of uh, all of what I've written so far is already in the office archives. You girls sure are fresh in. There are witch covens all around the universe. We can't afford to be traveling back and forth to the moon temple all the time. And it's official. You can now receive guests on your cute asteroid home. This makes me happier than I can express. Deserve this. I'm just happy to see you. Ease your pain. Thank you so much. Doing my job. Do you want me to let your covet know? Mm, just let Jasmine and Dahlia know for now. I'm not ready to go public yet. It's been 200 years. I understand. I'll send a falcon to each of them. Thanks again. Well, I should be going now. It's been a pleasure to meet you, and thanks for the reading. Even if it was so ominous. Take care. Let me know if there's any trouble. Bye-bye. <laughs> I like the flying into space. And I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.